there's a new sheriff in town. His name is Scott. Last name ends with an Imson. Me, Scott Simpson. Here's the problem, you guys. There is this whole swath of people. Uh, I don't know what a swath is. Maybe we can get a definition come up on the screen. A screen. <laughs> Giant crowd of people who are selling a service called YouTube Automation. You've probably seen the ads. You've probably seen the posts on TikTok. If you are here right now on this video, you've seen it. And you're asking the question, is this legit? We're gonna dive into it in this video. In case you guys are wondering why my voice sounds so sultry, it is not because I spent the last week at jazz bars in smoke-filled rooms. It's because I had a little bit of a cold over the holidays and I'm just getting over it, thank you very much. Fever for 24 hours and now my voice is coming back. But you're not here for that. I'm talking to the business owners. You guys, if you guys have seen this type of content, the YouTube automation, the faceless channels, the, they go by so many different names now I can't keep up on everything. If you guys have seen this stuff and you're here right now to determine whether or not this is good or whether this is bad, if it's something you should invest in, something you shouldn't, maybe some of you have taken calls with these people and you're like, oh my gosh, is this legit? Well, let me, let me try and spell it all out for you today. Typically the way that it works, little history lesson. <laughs> It all started in 1972 with the advent of the internet. As people were finding ways to make more money online, a lot of them became douchebags and started selling things that they actually didn't have. And they didn't know how to actually do those things. <clears throat> Just kidding. The way that these ads work is they make these big bold promises of I am going to make you a YouTube channel. I will do everything and you do nothing. Look at how many play buttons I have. Don't worry guys, I'm not here to sell you a faceless channel. The problem with all this stuff is that what they're selling is actually really cool sounding, right? From a business owner standpoint, if I can invest thousands of dollars into something and have it be fully automated where I don't have to do anything, that sounds great. It sounds great to me. Here's the question I always ask. If these people are so good at creating channels that are fully automated, why don't they just create all of these channels by themselves and save all of the money instead of splitting it with the people that they're trying to sell? That's question number one, that's red flag number one. I've been a YouTube consultant for a number of years now. I've built a number of YouTube channels that have been successful. I've even built faceless channels because I wanted to test the strategies these people are doing. The success doesn't come without a tremendous amount of effort and I can tell you right now that the more types of content like this flood YouTube the less impactful it is so that's a question that immediately comes to mind whenever I hear of these things if they're so good at it why don't they just do more so it doesn't stop there so I did a little investigative work and I had a conversation with one of these guys a couple years ago when I was really intrigued by this stuff and this is how they put it together this is how they pitched me first of all the guy pitches me by showing me his charts and graphs like charts and graphs are always a good way to get people to believe what you're saying because people like data and if you can definitively show them that you are as successful as you are saying you are or you've had clients who are successful as you're saying you could be they're more likely to pay you for your service so he starts by showing me charts and graphs then I start asking him questions he doesn't know that I'm a YouTube expert you guys this is the thing and it gets a little bit wild here in a little bit so then he pitches me his offers I sell two packages one at thirty thousand dollars and one at sixty thousand dollars I build everything for you and then he started to bash on somebody else in the industry red flag number two and then he shows me this one channel I made I've made about $150,000 in the last 12 months. So he hits me again with the case study. Then he says, I'm not here to spam you, Scott. Really? Really? And I say, I appreciate that. <laughs> I think he's from Australia, so I'll do my best Australian accent. I'm not here to spam you, Scott. You know, I know the questions are asked, so I say, oh, I'm assuming the difference in package price is because you retain some of the ownership of the lower tier package. And he says, yeah, slightly. There's a bunch that I include, but the main difference that I include is the included content. 30K gets you six months with an 80-20 split in revenue. 60K is 12 months with a 90-10 split in revenue. And then he also has a buyback guarantee with a 90-10 split. And then he says that if your channel has not earned at least $30,000, I will give you your money back. That's not necessarily a red flag, right? That's actually intriguing. I love money back guarantees. Obviously, I want to see that stuff in right. This was just over a year ago. When I go and look at his channel now, let's go look at the channel. The channel is getting an average of 1.6 million views a month and it has slowly turned downward for the last 
year. So he still has some videos that pop off. He had a couple months here that got six, seven million views. And if you were to say on average, uh, revenue from this channel will get two to two to three dollars per thousand views on these months where he's getting seven million, six million views, he's making 18 to twenty one thousand dollars. That's that's not bad on an average month. You know, he's getting a million seven. He's making anywhere between, you know, four to six thousand dollars. Still not bad, you guys. So if it's automated, that that works out well. Typically, what I have found is that these guys have built out a couple of these automated channels that have worked. They've built dozens of them that haven't worked. They're showcasing the ones that work and they're not talking about the ones that haven't worked. In my opinion, if you're thinking or considering buying a automated system or investing in some type of a YouTube automated system, your money would be better spent taking a course, buying a course, learning how to do it yourself, and then just putting in the effort and making it work. Generally speaking, if something is too good to be true, it probably is. Now I'm seeing a lot of content again all over social media where these guys are doing this and I'm going to tell you right now with chat GPT coming out this whole thing is going to change because people are going to write their scripts with chat GPT which is something that you would typically have to invest in if you were going to do a faceless channel they're going to have automated editing which is something that you would invest in so you guys if you are thinking about doing this right this second I would seriously consider just getting on chat GPT and having that program write all your scripts and then sending it over some editor and tell editing can be automated as well. The other thing I want you guys to think about is YouTube is difficult. It's difficult. Anybody who has ever built a channel on YouTube understands that it's, it's a difficult process. It takes time. So if you are not willing to put the work in yourself, you're just wanting someone else to do it, that typically doesn't end up successful. And if you're investing money that you don't have into a system like, like this, it, it can end up costing you a lot of money. Just be careful. Make sure you do your due diligence. There is a market for faceless channels. I just don't generally trust every marketer. My scam alert radar my scamdar the radar that gives me alerts <laughs> internally when I feel like something might be a scam is just going off when I see a lot of these YouTube automation programs so so just keep that in mind all right you guys if you like this video and you want to learn how to grow your YouTube channel the right way check out this video right here catch you on the next one bye